I'm Scott L. Miller. It's the 10th of April, 2023. This is my vlog of daily life living in Leon, Nicaragua. We're into the week. It is Monday. Semana Santa is over. We're getting back to normal. I have a reasonable work week coming up, I think, this week. It's, it's seeming like it's going to be pretty good. Today is going to be a short video because we're going to be doing another snack tasting with my daughters. Today we're going to be doing pro snacks from Costa Rica, which we will get to immediately right after the bump. Right, we are back with Luciana and Liesl. You know me, I'm Scott, and we are doing another uh, sampling of snacks available here in Nicaragua. And of course a truck comes by right at that moment and decides to hit the horn. So today we're looking at Pro Snacks. This is another brand that comes from Costa Rica. It's available here pretty easily, but it's not the most common, uh, but we can find it in the local grocery stores and the pulperias. And so, uh, so I will show you an example. It is the Pro brand. Uh, we do not have autofocus, so I can't like hold this close and get like a great focus. We're on the Seven Artisans 2.8, uh, seven and a half millimeter fisheye, which is an amazing lens does a great job the colors are going to be fantastic but it's manual focus only so i can only get so close uh so we're going to start off with Toria dito's barbecue flavor it comes in the yellow pack now all the ones we're going to show today come in a giant pack it's just five flavors uh but there's like four of each one and these are pretty small uh and you get them these we get in managua in these big packs um but we don't get these too often so we're going to start off with these and these are essentially i'll show them Look at the dog coming through. They're basically like Fritos. They're a corn chip with a barbecue flavor. I've already had them. Okay. So they're a little bit less salty for sure than Fritos. Overall. I like them. They're not bad, but I would I would call them bland. Mm -hmm. It's light on flavor just across the board, but they're a crunchy chip. Gives you kind of that Fritos feel. You could do Frito pie or something with it, but Fritos have a stronger taste of some sort. I always thought it was corn, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's the oil, but it definitely has a lot more salt. Now this one is Torreditos Salt and Lime Limon. So the green pack from Pro. Don't think she's gonna like this one. Yeah, she doesn't like lime. Hopefully it has a little bit more salt. Okay. Actually, I like this one a lot more. Even though the flavor is weird because it's a really strong lime flavor, it has more salt, which is important, and it's it actually has flavor. Does it have more salt? I think that's just the lime. And that is a strong <laughs> lime flavor. It seriously is. I was not expecting it to be that strong. I don't think I've had those before. I definitely have. I've them. had the barbecue, and I never get them because it's just it's not enough barbecue flavor, not enough salt, not enough crunch. It's a little bit lacking. I was going to save those to last. Should we do them now? No, we're going to save them to last. Okay. <laughs> now, these are platinos. Platanitos. Uh, now, this is just salted. So, this is just plantain chips. So, you've seen us eat plantain chips before. Um, they do come in different flavors and styles, and some are better than others. Uh, very, very popular here. Every grocery store is going to sell you multiple brands of plantain chips. The plantain chips are really excellent. They're a great source of potassium. It's a fruit. Uh, it's got lots of fiber. I mean, it's got all the benefits of a banana with lower sugar, right? So it's not a bad thing to be eating. Of course, fried with salt is not always. <laughs> Very crunchy. Very little flavor. Kind of like that. Okay. Now this is Platanitos Maduras. Maduras is a reference to uh, plantains, again, but that are mature. It just means mature. And so these are sweeter because they've been given more time to ripen. It does not mean that it's a different uh, species of plantain or anything like that. And so it's most common to take the regular plantains or green plantains when they're young. Um, same as if you took a banana when it was young. Chop that up and fry it. 
and you're really likely to get those on the street as a potato chip replacement because they're very starchy and not very sweet. And the Maduros uh, are the same thing, but they let them ripen. And when you let them ripen all the way, they're a lot closer to a banana because they get sweeter. They're never as sweet as a banana, I don't think. Um, a slightly different flavor. It's definitely a different um, species of, of plantain than bananas that we're used to. Uh, but these are what are commonly allowed to get quite old and then they pan fry them for breakfast. And so you get these with breakfast all the time. Getting them as chips, m multiple vendors do them, but they're, they're far less popular as a chip because they're, they're a little bit sweet. Oh. It's a nice change of pace. I hate them. Despise them. These will be mine. Um, for me, I think that these are nearly banana chips. If you're in the United States, in somewhere in North America, you're in the grocery store and you find fried banana chips, it's really close to this. I think banana chips are just a little bit sweeter. And again, the flavor is just a tiny bit different, but overall, it's very close. So they're right. so much more sweet than the other ones. They really are. It's it's a big gap. This is Chiswiss. I have I have no idea what this is. I have a feeling that they're just crunchy cheese puffs. But but seriously, crunchy original Chiswiss. I can't tell if they taste bad or if it's the aftertaste from the sweet ones. No, they taste bad. Oh, yeah. You, you know the rest of that. I don't want to eat. No. That's no. for the dog. <laughs> not good. Not good at all. The crunch is okay. Like that, it's not like a bad texture, but that is a bad cheese flavor. Okay. Overall, I think the Pro Series of chip products is weak. Which one is that? These. This, this line. Yeah, they're, they're I, just... I only like the normal plantain ones and the barbecue one. <laughs> yeah, and I kind of like the lime chips just because it's a change of pace. And I'll eat some of the others. These are not good. Those are too bland for me. And, and those are just plantain chips. I'd rather have plantain chips off the street. Anyway, that's another round of snacks here. Thanks, girls. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that was very fast. I only had five, and they're all pretty similar. So, But I wanted to be able to share them with you, and it's always nice to do something different. So thanks for joining us. And remember, when you're coming to Nicaragua, try lots of different foods. Because it's really interesting to see all the different things that you can eat here that you're just not going to find in other places. Of course, you're going to find these in Costa Rica, but you know what I mean. All right, I know that was a short one. I hope you enjoyed getting to join us for trying out some snacks. Not every snack is going to be a winner. That is just how it is going to be. Thanks for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe. If you'd like to support the channel and help us buy more snacks, you can hit the link that is right up here. That's buymeacoffee.com slash Scott L. Miller, and that is how you can directly support the channel. I really, really appreciate so many of you make such a difference there. And as always, share on social media, tell your friends. Got questions, suggestions, things you'd like us to try, foods you want us to, to get down, scroll down, go down there. I know if you're on a TV, you can't do that, but if you're on a computer or on your phone, you can get down there in the comments, leave a comment, ask a question. Love to hear from all of you. Uh, I do get a lot every day. It's fantastic. Um, and uh, very much looking forward to the camera I was talking about yesterday. Still, I'm not going to tell you what it is. You've got weeks to wait so you can build up anticipation, but I can confirm it did arrive. Kim has it in hand already in luggage. So I'm still waiting on like uh, tripods and extensions and uh, batteries and that kind of stuff. But the actual camera is in hand. That's a really big deal for us, as is, for those who are wondering, uh, Luchana at one point had lost her, uh, not lost, but it went through the wash, her Apple Pencil, that has been replaced, that is also in hand in the luggage. So she's really excited because she does so much artwork and uh, uh, she needs it for that. She's been sharing her sisters, which is very difficult for both of them. So that is, that is all gonna be arriving in about two weeks. And uh, as always, I will see you all tomorrow.